What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Treehouse Brewing Company YouTube channel. Today we're talking about visiting the brewery and some of the best practices for doing so. Let's dive right into it. All right guys, we'll get some housekeeping out of the way up front here. Uh, if you're new to the channel here, we've got a ton of content that Michael and I have been working on. We don't want you guys to miss any of it. In order to not miss it, you have to subscribe to the channel and you can do so by hitting that button right below this video. All right, so you're sitting at home and you've said to yourself, you know what? I've been seeing those beautiful pictures of Treehouse on social media. My buddy Jimmy was drinking a Julius last night. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful weather day this Friday. I'm going to visit Treehouse. What do I do? I've heard that the process can be challenging. I've heard that it can be intimidating and overwhelming. But today I'm here to untangle that mystery and show you guys that it's actually very, very easy. Treehouse isn't similar to other breweries in the sense that we have a very, very, very high volume of customer traffic here. In fact, this year alone, we're expecting to see just under a million people at all four of our Massachusetts brewery properties. So in order to facilitate that customer flow, we've had to create a process that's a bit different than what you may be accustomed to when you visit a brewery. And all that starts on our website using a web interface that enables you both to pre-order cans in advance and pay in advance for your draft beers before you arrive. We have learned over time that doing these two things not only saves you time, but it collectively saves the entire crowd time provided that everyone participates in this pre-order system. All right, so how does that work? Well, it's all facilitated at treehousebrew.com. Very straightforward. Navigate to treehousebrew.com or Google Treehouse Brew. Select that first link that pops up, treehousebrew.com. First thing you'll encounter is the top portion of the website is Charlton, which is our mother ship. It's our flagship location and it's our busiest location, so it's on the top. If you're going to visit another location on desktop, you simply scroll down to find the information that you're looking for. So on mobile, given the nature of the layout, we've made things slightly different where the menus are drop downs for each location. So when you navigate to Treehouse Brew on mobile, the individual sections for each location actually roll up and you simply click the button that says the location's name that you wish to visit and the information that's available on desktop will pop up for you. I have it here in front of me. We've decided that we're going to visit Charlton, the mothership. Certainly one of the most grand places to visit, and it's incredibly easy to do so. You don't need any advance notice that you're coming. Obviously, you can just show up at your leisure. But before you do, you can pre-purchase your cans before you arrive to ensure the inventory that we have when you're looking at the website is yours to keep. And then secondarily, you can uh, purchase your draft tickets and prepay for draft in advance of arriving. Once you do that, you'll get a text message which will have a receipt, and on that receipt, there'll be a QR code. And that QR code is redeemable at the bar when you get a draft. Those draft tickets are good for any beer that we have on the draft list. And right here on the homepage, we have an item to click and see what's on the draft list. Couldn't be any simpler. Two options, prepay order cans to go, and prepay in advance for your draft tickets. You might be wondering about hours. For each location on the right-hand side of the page, we list the hours of both a draft and beer-to-go availability. And if an option at that location, we have a schedule of food trucks. In Charlton, Tewksbury, and Deerfield, we don't require that you pre-purchase your draft tickets. Although this video, and generally speaking, we strongly encourage you to do so because ultimately it will save you and everybody else time. In the summer, in Sandwich specifically, during roughly an eight to 12 week period, some, somewhere between Memorial Day and Labor Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, we generally require the pre-purchase of draft tickets because there's a limited number on a daily basis that do sell out. Once those tickets have sold out, we can't welcome more people into the building. We have occupancy limitations that we can't exceed. And so therefore we need a means to manage the number of people that come through the brewery. So in the summer months, if you're planning a trip to Sandwich that morning, go online, purchase your tickets, and you'll be all set for the draft wave that you've chosen. All right, so we've got four different locations, as you know, and obviously there's small, subtle differences between each of them. Most of those differences are explained here on the homepage, but I wanna walk you through them really, really quickly. 
In Charlton, your beer to go, once you've purchased it, it's in our system. We pre-pack that order and it's residing in our cooler. In order to get that beer in Charlton, park in our big parking lot outside, walk on through the front door, follow the signs that say cans, pick up your cans, we'll help you out, and you make your way back to your vehicle. In Tewksbury, the beer to go section of the, of the brewery is external to the main tap room. So as you make your way into the parking lot, you'll hang a right, you'll see signs that say the outpost, and you pull into a parking spot, you'll click the button in your receipt that says I am here, which has the time that you chose for your pickup, and we'll bring out the beer and put it in your trunk. So in Tewksbury, we have the option, if you wanna play around a golf, you can play around a golf. And right from the homepage on desktop or mobile under the Tewksbury section, you can simply click on tee times. Right now, they're currently available about a week in advance and on Monday through Friday only. As time goes on, they'll be open seven days a week, but we are just starting out there and we're trying to maintain a really impeccable environment. And in order to do so, we just have limited time. So if you're interested in playing golf right there from the homepage under Tewksbury, you can book a tee time. In Sandwich, we have a, the pre-ordering system where you pre-select the time that you're going to arrive. Those time slots are limited, given limited availability of parking and customer flow in that space. So once you've purchased your cans, say you're gonna arrive at 5 p.m., you arrive at 5, 5 p.m. or 5.05 or 5.10, click the button in your receipt that says, I am here, we'll get notification in the brewery that you have arrived, and within just a couple of minutes, we'll bring out your beer and toss it in your trunk for you. And lastly, in Deerfield, you can pre-purchase your cans to go. Once again, set a, setting aside the inventory that you want in the morning so you don't miss out late in the afternoon. You don't have to pre-select the time in Deerfield because we have a lot of room and space there. And you'll just make your way around the left side of the building, pull on up, and we'll load the beer directly into your trunk right out of our cooler. All right, guys, so that's a quick overview of this system that we've set up, considering the highly unique circumstances and volume of customer flow that we have here at Treehouse. Over the years, we've done whatever we can to make your experience better. And given the volume of people who visit, that can become increasingly challenging. This is the system that we've devised to do so. And if you're willing to take just a couple of seconds to learn it, we think that it'll make your experience seamless, better, and guarantee that you get the beer that you're after. Certainly, if you have any questions, this is a community. We're happy to uh, have a back and forth with you guys in the comments. If you're gonna visit, ask your question below. We would be happy to answer it and spread the news in terms of how this works. It'll help out us and it'll help out you when you make your trip. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.